global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. We have a breaking news here for you and it has to do with the Chief of Staff to President Muhammadu Buhari, Abakiari. And uh, the news have it that Abakiari is finally dead. And uh, Abakiari died of uh, coronavirus. He, he was receiving treatment before now in a private hospital. And his death was announced by the presidential spokesperson, Femi Adeshina, in the early hours of Saturday in a tweet. And according to him, he said, the chief of staff to the president, Malam Abakiari, passes on. May God rest his soul. Amen. Funeral arrangement to be announced soon. And already there had been, you know, messages sent out, short statements sent out to different media houses. And one of them here says, the pres presidency regrets to announce the passage of the chief of staff to the president, Malam Abakari. The disease had tested positive to the ravaging COVID-19 and had been receiving treatment, but he died on Friday, April 17, 2020. May God accept his soul. Funeral arrangement will be announced shortly. Don't forget that Abakari had uh, uh, tested positive to coronavirus on March 23. And then on March 29, he announced that uh, he issued a statement on that he has decided to move to Lagos for further test and observation. But, you know, it would amaze you what Nigerians have been praying for. It will really amaze you. Nigerians have been praying against the life of this man seriously. And, uh, you know, it has come out the way most people were expecting. Most people had always, you know, believed that he shouldn't leave because they believe that he is the cause of the trouble and most decision made by the government that it was traceable to him. You know, and, uh, you know, when he told Nigerians that he had moved on, there was another news that came up, and this time around, it was coming. It was coming from Kemi Olun lawyer, who is an investigative journalist, and she said that the big man is dead. In Aso Robot said something that I'll give the honor to the federal government to announce it. I will give the honor. And most people started prediction. A lot of people said, ah, is it about Carrie? You know, a lot of questions were being asked, but she declined all the questions. All what she said was that um, that it's not a Bakari. She even opened up and told Nigerians that it wasn't a Bakari, but it was uh, someone else and all of that. And uh, don't also forget that there were a lot of... Um, a lot of statements by different persons or on the social media. Some had believed that he was flown abroad to be treated. Some even said that he had been taken to Cuba to be treated. But just the, the, the story is that Abakari is finally, you know, dead. But it, it, it was unclear... On Saturday morning, if Mr. Bakari's dead is among the four new deaths announced by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, uh, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control said uh, that Nigerian's death toll has increased to 17 on Friday. You know, it was 18 on Thursday, but on Friday, it has moved to, to 17. On Thursday, it was 13. While on Friday, it increased to 17. But we are yet to know if uh, he's dead was among you know nigerian had uh, i think 493 as at friday nigerian had about 493 confirmed cases of covid 19 including 17 deaths while 157 people have recovered and have been discharged all right uh, let's just look at the life and time of abakari from when he started working with mr president in 2015 mr abakari was first appointed as chief of staff to the president in 2015 when mr buhari just came to power you know and um, he was re reappointed last year after his principal that's after buhari won uh, re-election According to a statement by the president when he was first appointed, Mr. Bakari had bachelor and master's degree from University of Cambridge and University of Warwick in law and sociology. He had worked with the Nigerian News Development Company, New 
Africa Holding, African International Bank, the United Bank for Africa, Unilever, and Mobile in various capacity over the years. And uh, unfortunately, he is gone, just as most Nigeria had believed. And um, there are a lot of statements. If you go to Twitter page, there are a lot of statements by Nigerians. I'm going to consider some of those statements or some of those comments and uh, we just look at it and analyze. So my colleague will be reading some of those comments so that we just hear it. It's quite pathetic. All right. We have one of Nigerians' statements. We're going to take cross across um, commentaries of what Nigerians are saying here. So here it says, Nigerians woke up, woke up to a bloody new year at January 1st, 2017. Precisely 73 innocent souls were murdered in Benue so that their land can be converted to grazing reserve for cows. Buhari was the president, while Abakiari was the chief of staff, but all they could do was to pay some debased Yoruba-minded edition and caption the farmers and headers clash instead of murder, murder, murder. Though I was not from there, but I cried because I felt the pain. Then I wondered, what was their sin that a whole family, not one, not two, not even three, should be wiped out in one night? I have thought they were gods, but now I have woken up to the reality that they are actually nothing but common vanity, destined to vanish without trace. Those full and blood-sucking demons and their cold murderers, AIDS must perish in sorrow. Arrow fire and his likes, so your judgment is near. Power belongs to God. Hmm, Nigerians are rejoicing indeed. They say, I say, them done they go, they done they go, one by one. As many that turn this nation into hell for the common man will go like this by the grace of God. Look at prayer. People are happy. They say, I say, Buhari is next. Tinubu and your other corrupt leader should shall follow. Hey, see prayer. They say, I say, wicked people in this government, God pass you. you you should all learn from him and fear God. This one here said, I greet you. Congratulations. If you know Christ before you die, or else, too bad, you're going mm, to hell that's fire. That's true. That's true. And this one here said, Justice Coronavirus has sentenced him to finally... To, okay, is it Justice Coronavirus has sentenced him finally to death? R.I.P. Others are waiting their trial. Be careful. <laughs> As in those carrying it. What it means is that those carrying the coronavirus in the government house should be careful that the justice is coming and it's coronavirus that is passing the judgment. This one here said, All of you here are happy over that, Tabi. This one here said, Abakir had died a long time ago. According to a female blogger, I believe they must have thought of covering it up by cloning him or using a double from Sudan, but not possible. <laughs> Wherever, whoever, wherever he is now, I believe he must have realized God is real. So also yeah, his judgment. Yeah. All the souls he aided their mother must be surprised to see him this he this early in hell. Even though some of them <laughs> might even ask him if he came alone or with his friends like Buhari, Aero, Fire, and Co. <laughs> Nigerians are rejoicing. I tell you, Nigerians are rejoicing. So they say, finally, finally, God, thank you very much. Mm. Oh, more breaking news like this from Asso Rock. Ah, Nigerians are praying bad prayer. So they say, Cho, he has died since now. It's an old story. Are you serious? No, no, Nigerians believe that he has actually died, he died since. Died, so, yeah. yeah. But you know, one of the things that most people did not like about Kemi Olun Lawyer was the fact that she was not precise about And she was the not dead. even bold to say yeah, I guess she, she knew, but I guess she was scared. But was, how it, true, how true was it that uh, she was the person that died? Because she made mention he, of, oh sorry, he was the person that died. As Abakari was the person that died. Because when people call out the name of Abakari, what the, her response was not uh, really favorable because she said that it's not Abakari that she knows Abakari is in one of the hospitals in Lagos and a ventilator had been taken to you know, him and all of that. Was she trying to evade? Was yeah, she trying to I, run away from the truth? Or well, maybe? When I went through that commentary, somebody said something unique. He said, look, it's possible that um, Femi, uh, Kemi has collected some bags of money and probably must have advised her to keep her mouth shut. Don't forget that um, she has been in prison for a while. Um, and though she's not even in Nigeria as presently, but then uh, if she can cash out on this big story, why not? But I think at this point she should be able to come out to tell Nigerians the truth if Abakari was long dead, so that the likes of the Commissioner of uh, Health 
in uh, Lagos State and even the Minister of Health should also be ashamed of themselves if because I could still remember that the Commissioner of Health in uh, Lagos, Lagos, is it Commissioner or oh no, or Mr. Dr. Osage, the Minister, okay. uh, yeah, oh, Minister, of Health. Minister of Health, came out and told Nigerians that he was still receiving calls, a tweet from, tweet, uh, uh, yeah, okay, what's, yeah, WhatsApp messages, WhatsApp messages from, Abakari. from Abakari, but then he doesn't know a, the exact place that the location, he, the location yeah, where he is that. and all of that. So, but, but, no, but you know, my fear is if she has collected any money that he, he, the man is not dead, that's Abakari. Now coming out to say he's long dead, yeah, that's breach of contracts. No, so but, but she said she was very precise and very uh, clear about her this thing statement on her Twitter page. She said that the big man, she, the big man is dead. The big man in Aso Rock is dead. And she said she was going to give the honor to the presidency to, to announce. announce. But they didn't announce that. Well, so but they didn't, there was no announcement. There was no there. announcement yeah, at all. Uh, exactly. So I guess this is the honor she's doing. Finally, yeah, yeah. they have finally announced. But this one, I'll, I'll take two more and I would stop here. So here say, do I hear they, them say funeral for someone that died of coronavirus? I thought the cause is not meant to be released to mm. people or family. So is it because it's a presidential uh, person, a special person that now want to give the cops to the family to? Do no, 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 no. Absolutely, do? I don't. And think... besides, I think he's even a Muslim. They don't do. In the uh, next three days, she or three or five days, I think he should be buried. That's yeah. if he has not been buried. I think he should, he should be buried immediately because it's a case of coronavirus. But plus, I I believe when they talk about funeral arrangement, it will just be you know the big boys. Uh, Aso wrong will just gather to like uh, you know give him. Uh, the final last final respect, respect as uh, the sweeping of down Abakari is no more the um, uh, what do they call chief it of staff. chief of staff to the president but the late chief, chief of staff, staff. You know, wow. one of two persons here are even saying that um, is that it's obvious you know if you watch the speed which would change the federal government Nigerian government shifting these uh, Chinese doctors you know despite the uh, cry out against it okay. you know, a lot of persons here online are saying that these Chinese doctors actually came for Bakari yeah, to, yeah, to save him to see if they could do something you know but you know since it didn't work that was the answer you know they kept on Nigerians kept on saying no 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 but they insisted they brought the Chinese doctor even to the point that uh, Femi but Biamela said something. See, look, we need to uh, quarantine, uh, quarantine these guys. These guys. They give us a social distancing and all that. But after a while, they had to ask them, please, where is these doctors right now? Yeah. Within 48 hours, they, no one knew where the doctors were anymore. Okay, so it could possibly be that they actually came from back here. You know, that shell clearly shows us everyone is man. Yeah. Vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. No matter who you are, one day you will call, receive that call one day. All right, that's where we're going to leave it for me. I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't like. I won't love to rejoice over the death of another person because one day, one day, everybody will answer that call. But however, uh, let's wish him well wherever he is right now.